What is going on? Jesus Christ. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you guys have been enjoying this one ton swap content. We have one more thing to do to the rear to finish it and that is going to be making some track bar, sorry, sway bar brackets. And those sway bar brackets are going to uh, go to the axle and then we can bolt the TJ sway bar onto the rear. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go with like a Curry anti-rock system in the rear or not, but so this is what we're going to do for now. Uh, we have some steel we're going to bend to make our own bracket and it'll bolt on there and you guys will see what we're going to do for that. And then the second thing we're going to get done is the steering setup. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to go old school on this, right? Oh yeah. Heat, little heat, little bending and a, and a hammer. Oh yeah. So we're going to see how it goes. All right. guys so there you go it's pretty simple nothing complicated we're just trying to mimic the factory bracket for the rear sway bar and like lucas said we're probably maybe going to look at some other alternatives but pretty clean and simple just a couple pieces of flat steel that we bent welded together welded some nuts on the back side so this will go right onto the axle this will get welded and tacked in place and then we'll do the other one the same way yep pretty simple yep here we have the sway bar brackets that we made just tacked in place once we get the axle pulled back out for uh, final welding so including that everything else is welded so that's all that's left final cleanup and then paint is when we'll pull the axle out get it all ready paint it throw it back in for good and then we also have to clean the arms up get them painted as well and then the rear is completely 100 percent finished and uh yeah so far so good really happy with how it's going don't know if this is going to be a permanent solution uh, but down the road, we may do the curry rear sway bar. Yeah, so that'll probably be the next upgrade, but that'll do for now. Okay, I don't even know where we, where we left off at or what we were doing in the previous part you were just watching. We have tires that are finally here. 40, 13 and a half, 17 inch tires. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, I'm really disgusting right now because uh, we're getting the Cooper STT Pros and the wheels on the Jeep now taken off so we can get them mounted on to the 40s. And uh, I ran one of the Cooper tires and one of the 40s over to a buddy's house who uh, has a bunch of cool machines and does a lot of cool building and stuff like that. And uh, we were just trying to test if we can get one dismounted because he has a uh, dismounting and mounting and then a wheel balancer. So we didn't know if these big tires were gonna fit. They do, thank God. So I gotta pull the rest off the Jeep and then uh, run them over to his house. And then uh, these are the tires. So Milestar sent us 10, 40, 13 and a half, 17 tires check that out so these are the mto2s this is the latest and greatest from milestar and uh, i'm really excited there's four right here four right there one more right there and then one is already mounted in the back of the pickup truck but i don't want to waste any more time i'm going to take all these off get them loaded in the pickup truck Get these, put them in the pickup truck so we can get this over with because I want to get these mounted ASAP to see what it looks like. 
I'm so excited. I these things are freaking massive, dude. When we went to go pick them up <clears throat> at Justice Off Road because they can't ship to a a house address, they got to ship to a business address. I was like, holy crap! I've never like had a tire in my hands this big, and it's insane. I I'm it's gonna look wild on the Jeep. I I can't wait. So we're gonna go get this stuff mounted. I'm gonna bring the GoPro and uh, you guys will watch the process of us dismounting and mounting the new tires. So here we go. It is so hot. I just got the tires loaded up and uh, it is not easy fitting. 340s and 337s in the back of this pickup truck. Sorry for that beeping, it's my uh, parking sensor, tailgate's down. Huge shout out to Milestar for, uh, th I mean these tires are, are badass. I'm so excited to wheel the East Coast. Everyone I know is all on the West Coast that runs these tires, or at least everyone on social media, I guess, that I see. We're gonna go mount them. See ya. Less talking, more doing. Huge shout out to Andrew for uh, helping me get all that done. I definitely could not have done that by myself, which I attempted to do, and I uh, could not break the bead, which we definitely needed that machine to do it because, uh, yeah, I was killing myself, stomping on it, and just doing all kinds of dumb stuff. So, yeah, huge thank you to him for helping with that. He's also got a a balancer which we just threw one of the wheels up on to see if it worked and it fit so now we know we can take it there to get balanced and I just I gotta, I gotta get the weights he has weights but they're quarter ounce each and we would just have to put a ton on onto them and it would just be dumb to do that so I'm just gonna get some heavier weights and uh, it'll make our life a little easier when it comes to throwing weights on there. So heading home now, don't know if I'm gonna mount the wheels and tires tonight. Uh, I'm just, I feel disgusting right now and I'm starving, so. Woo! They're on. I skipped the filming of me putting them on just because it's not interesting, but look. Guys. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. So, I haven't said anything yet, but we're gonna be doing high lines in the front fenders, so that'll give us a lot more clearance with the 40s. And then back here, I mentioned something before, but we're gonna be trimming this whole section out to allow these to stuff. So, 
Um, basically where this fender is, is where we're gonna be trimming and cutting this. So that'll give us a lot more room for this 40 to stuff up inside there. And then with that, we're gonna be cutting into this stuff. So we're just gonna box all this out with sheet metal. Um, so it'll look a lot cleaner in here because we're gonna be, have to cut like into this stuff, which is all supporting um, on both sides, which follows that right there. So um, that'll give us a lot more clearance for these. And there's like maybe like an inch to an inch and a half of space there. Either way, we can cut if we need to and then just uh, kind of figure out what kind of fenders we want to put on there or make our own. I don't know yet. That'd be kind of interesting. The Jeep is getting closer and closer to being on the road. We have our track bar and steering to figure out. And then we'll be able to take it for a test drive and uh, see how these 40s feel because I cannot wait to get them on the road. Um, we just got to get them balanced. But holy crap, it's so pretty. So happy, guys. This is truly a dream Jeep. Dream Jeep. Jeep, I almost said Jeep dream. A dream Jeep for me. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully the Jeep is driving in the next video. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, subscribe if you wanna see more and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one, bye.